Hi guys. So I have a cold in case you didn't gather that from the hello greeting. You know, it's the season. The season to be sick. Especially when you work in retail. I survived Black Friday. But I got this. Yay! <laughs> but since it is the end of November slash beginning of December, I figured it's time for a monthly favorites video, you know, because like that's what people do, right? <coughs> so I have two lush favorites. Um, the first being the So White Shower Gel. Did I talk about that in my last month's favorites? I don't know, but I bought the big one because I like it so much and there's like shimmer in it and stuff and I love it so much. Apple shower gel, that's amazing. There's a cat outside my door, it's really weird. It's probably my favorite shower gel from the Christmas line. I mean, I love Rose Jam, but like this, like what? Uh, it's so good. My voice is just gonna crack. The next thing being the Smell of Weather Turning perfume, and I bought this a couple months ago um, from Retro when they were phasing out all the old perfumes, and this one is the solid one. It looks kind of weird and melty, but this one smells like real woodsy and kind of smoky and like weird, but it just smells like what I think trees should smell like. Weather turning, the seasons. It's gonna be winter soon, cause it's fucking December now. What? It's been a month since I've been in this house. Almost, technically. I don't know, close to that. Some lipstick favorites. Uh, the one I'm wearing right now is the uh, shit brown that I've been loving. Um, the uh, Maison, Maison from NYX. And it's a brown. It's a matte brown. And I've been wearing it quite a lot this month. Human colors, not human colors. What up, Haiku? The other thing I've really, really been liking is this lipstick from Bite Beauty. And it is one of their um, pigment pencil things. Uh, this one's in pomegranate, so it's like a fucking bright ass red color. There you go, that's cool. Um, I really like these and they have really nice ingredients. It's like shea butter and castor oil and carnauba wax. It's like, yeah, doesn't smell like anything. So that's cool, that's nice to know. Doesn't smell like chemicals, doesn't smell like mint, doesn't smell like anything. Good shit. And it's really easy to apply. It stays very glossy. Um, so if you don't really like glossy pencils maybe try a different one but if you like glossy reds this one's really good i like it this other thing i've really really been enjoying is this nyx infinite shadow stick pencil thingamabob um, i used it in my last tutorial and this one is an almond um it looks like that it's like a shimmery shadow pencil thing like a nude brown thing it's way more like uh anti-crease than the regular shadow pencils, so I really, really like these. And um, it goes good with all bunch of brown colors, and it's really good to use by itself. So that's really nice, and it's super cheap because it's NYX, because NYX is cheap. Pardon my roommates. They are talking. I have roommates in the house, you know. Two more makeup favorites. Um, I've really, really been liking doing um, green, blue uh, eyeshadow in my eyebrows to match my hair with these two colors from the Wet n Wild Drinking Glass of Shine palette which is pretty pretty cool and super cheap it's like five dollars for eight great eyeshadows and they're all matte so they're really nice to fill in your eyebrows if you want to go like crazy colors because I have crazy color hair now so yeah and then the last thing is the Ico I Do Mascara the one in the little tubey tube tube the one that like Alexa Chung was with and stuff, because I love Lex Chung a lot, so that's fun. I really, really like this stuff, and uh, it doesn't make my lashes feel all crunchy. Yay! One fashion-y fave thing. Um, I found these boots at my favorite thrift store in Tacoma, Urban Exchange, um, and they're Sam Edelman booties. They're amazing. They had this little scuffy scuff on the bottom, but I don't really care because these were like $35 when they're originally over $100 shoes. See? Sam Edelman's right there. You can, can you see it? Probably not. But these are awesome and they're super comfortable. They have a little bit of a heel on them and they go with everything. Yeah, and they're like already broken in because, yeah, secondhand shoes. Yeah! In case you didn't know, uh, I started working at Hot Topic recently. My 15 year old self is freaking out and my 25 year old self is judging me. Whatever. But I found these really awesome pillows at work. Um, these are gonna be in the wrong order. So 
They're Harry Potter pillows and they say mischief. Wait, no. Mischief managed. Hell yeah. Mischief managed. Seriously, how cool is that? I think that's super cool. <laughs> like, it's the dorkiest thing ever. And now I just need to find a comforter to match. Cause I don't really want to get like the whole Marauder's Map comforter to make my whole bed Harry Potter. Maybe it's just like a brown comforter or like a tan comforter or something just to match. Another favorite thing is writing to-do lists and having a planner like a normal adult human being. Um, and I've been keeping my planner uh, in, in, a little moleskin, I love it, um, and it's helping me accomplish things throughout the week. A, just because it feels really nice carrying it around in my bag, and B, it just helps me like keep things like organized, you know? Keeping to-do lists and planners, I love this thing. It just feels so nice, it feels fancy, and I'm not fancy, like I'm not fancy at all. I tried to break into a song, but then it didn't work, because my voice is just like, I don't want to do anything. I just, fuck you, don't, no, nothing. None of the things. One other thing, what other things are my favorite this month? Um, so I went and saw Fleetwood Mac this month. That was pretty cool. Um, so Fleetwood Mac <laughs> was a favorite. Like I saw Fleetwood Mac with my uncle and my mom and it was awesome. I just want to be Stevie Nicks and I want to be her forever and ever and ever. like I just all of the Stevie Nicks clothes I'm gonna do a Stevie Nicks like wish list on my blog because I feel like she's just the ultimate goddess and nobody can tell me otherwise so just saying I love Fleetwood Mac I love Stevie Nicks Lindsey Buckingham's like guitar playing was so freaking cool he was just like strumming it and you, uh, uh. okay 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 this this is going to be the ultimate fave so since living with roommates, we don't have cable, but we have Netflix. And Sarah, my roommate, and I started watching The Killing one day. And then we went down a rabbit hole. And we just finished season two today. We literally sat down and watched like six episodes. It was kind of ridiculous. But that freaking show, you guys, like, it is so good. And I wish it was not over because it's so good. And I just don't want it to end. It's a show that takes place in Seattle. It's obviously filmed in Vancouver because I'm watching it at points. I'm like, that bridge doesn't exist. <laughs> You're just trying to name drop a street to make it seem more authentic. And where are you going? I don't know. It's it's funny pointing out the 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 plot holes and everything of just like not being in Seattle, but it's such a well written show, and I wish it was not not on anymore because it always happens. I really get into shows that are like awesome and well written and just like so suspenseful and just like pull you in and then it's like oop nope it's over sorry. So we finished season two today and it was all of the feels and then we're probably gonna start season three tomorrow but I want to like elongate it and make it last as long as possible because I don't want season four to end even though season four is like half a season and I'm like I just <laughs> Fucking Netflix, man. And I started watching Twin Peaks. So, I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I mean, Seattle's been good to me. Um, Ballard has been ace. I mean, I don't live in Ballard, but I, like, I live basically in Ballard and it's awesome and I love Trader Joe's. Ah, it's been a good month and I'm kind of low energy right now because it's the end of the day and I've only had one cup of coffee, but a room tour will happen this week because I finally have all of my things up on my wall and it looks nice in here. I have pillows that are cool. I have things just like my room looks the way that I want it to. So you can stop bugging me about doing a room tour because honestly, nothing is more annoying than when people constantly poke at you and be like, hey, you should do this after I've said I'm not gonna do it like a million times. I'm like, shut up. So now I'm gonna do it so you can shut up. <laughs> yeah, okay? Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to like do that. For today's song of the day, we have Gold Dust Woman by Fleetwood Mac because that moment of their concert was so cool and witchy and Stevie was just like into it in every way. And, and that's what I was like, I wanna be Stevie Nicks. Like I wanna be a Gold Dust Woman. I wanna have all of the shimmery shawls and long dresses. And I realized yesterday that my wardrobe is so very black that I'm like slowly just morphing into Stevie, which is fine, cause like that is a goal that I have. 
yeah. Pardon my voice stuff, but um, I will see you guys on Friday with the room tour because it's happening. Finally, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>